All right, guys, check it out. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm in Cali, Colombia, and there's a place called Los Tres Cruces, uh, Sierra Los Tres Cruces, right here around the corner. And I'm gonna go hike it. I'm gonna go see what, what it's about. Now my voice is gone because I went out with La Ace Live last night to dance, all that kind of stuff. The music was loud. I was yelling, drinking, uh, and that's not me, guys. I'm not a I'm not a light, night person. I'm not a partier, but. Because I got in the house around 3 o'clock in the morning, I didn't sleep very much. It's 11.48, it's about to be 12 o'clock, so the sun, they say Cali's hot. Weather-wise, we're gonna find out how hot it gets, and I'm gonna climb those Tres Cruces, see how, how hard it is. See if there's people, usually on those Tres Cruces, a lot of people doing exercise, so come with me, let's check it out. I'm gonna get some eat real quick, and some Viva Cien. Stay tuned. Okay, ¿Qué es este acá? Is that a park? Ah, son arepas. Con huevo dentro. Arepa con huevo. Es la costeña. La costeña. ¿Esa qué es eso? Papa borracada. Papa borracada. Bueno, me da porfa una de esas arepas con huevo y ese es papas borracada. Ajá, por favor, para probar. Están calientes. Sí, mamá. Ah, mucho. Muy bien. Y tiene. tiene Muy bueno, los pollones también son muy sabrosos. Oh, no, está bien. Solo metes esos dos, porfa. Y. ¿Qué más? Tiene. Vive... No, no, buñuelo no. No, no. No, gracias. La papa. Sí, solamente esa. Solamente esa y esa. Dos cosas. La arepa de huevo, vamos a ver. Una. Una arepa de huevo y una de esa papa acá. Muchas gracias. Y. Un poquito más caliente, ¿no? ¿O no? Usted espera el agua. Ah, no, yo lo como así. ¿Y tiene, tiene vive 100? Porfa, es una pequeña. Vamos a ver. Let's see, let's see how it tastes, guys. Basically, that's a arepa with huevo, or egg, and that is a papa. I have no idea what she said. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what it is. And she's like, she's, I told her this too. She keeps on want to give me more and more. So let's see how. See, dime. Pero que, que te tiene dentro? La empanada la tradicional de papa con carne de pescada. Ah, no, solamente esas dos cosas, porfa. Sí. Okay. Gracias. All right, guys, so let's eat it and let's try it out. Oh, I forgot to say. This, I bought this in the Viva Cien. It cost me 4,900 pesos. Whatever that is in dollars, convert it. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, guys, check it out. So here in Colombia, they they fry a lot of food, so a lot of fried food. This is a papa. I have no idea what she said. Let me know in the comments if you guys understood. Let's eat it. Oh, it's just a fried potato. Mm. It's like a massive French fry, but mm, interesting. There's nothing special to it. Just a fried potato. Mm. Leave his hand for energy to get up this mountain. <laughs> now let's try the uh, arepa, the huevo, uh, arepa, egg, egg arepa. Mm. It's, like egg, it's like egg whites. Mm. There's the yellow. So it looks like a, a fried and boiled egg. So it's healthy, the protein. And then you get the unhealthiness by the friedness. <laughs> you basically can fry anything, right? You go to the state fair in Texas, they have fried Oreos. Have you ever tried a fried Oreo? Those are delicious, not healthy. Mm. They're good. Fried potato, not so much, but it's all right. Mm. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go hike it. And there's gonna be a lot of people hiking this mountain, hopefully. It's late, but hopefully they're still there. And on top is the exercise area, so stay tuned and be right back. Still walking along this road. Looks like there's a place here. 
Best sells refrigerators if you need a fridge. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out guys. We got this view. So far so good. It's not as hot as I expected. Again, everybody's over exaggerating by the heat over here. I invite you guys to go to Houston, Texas in July and then talk to me about the heat. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Alright guys. I ate the uh, the egg arepa. Absolutely delicious. I it was great. It was delicious. The other one, not so much. Now, I'm gonna start climbing up this mountain here. Let's go with Tres Cruces. A little bit different than the one in Medellin. But let's see, so far, got a slight incline. Let's see how hard it's gonna be. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I'm gonna make it. I mean, I got probably three hours of sleep. <laughs> Drank a little bit too much last night. I don't recommend that, don't recommend it. I don't go out that much. That's probably, I went out two nights in a row. That's, I'm probably done for 2021, I'm done. <laughs> It'll be 2022 when I go out again like that. All right, let's keep walking. I took off my face mask, I'm walking by myself. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's a bonsai tropical. Oh, I like this garden. Very nice, that's cool. This one right here, look at this. Oh, huh, little mountain. So I take off my mask, I'm walking alone. And there's many people here without masks, like, it's distance, there's social distancing. So if I come with a, amongst a, a group of people, I'll put my mask back on. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I bought a little packet of sunblock. Highly recommended. It costs 2,400 pesos. So I'm gonna put it on my face real quick and go up. It's muy inclinado. Bajando es muy inclinado. Si, sí, señor. Sí. Ah, bueno. So, she's saying that to go down it hurts your knees. Going up is, is easy. So, I talked to them. They said it's easy. So, see how easy it is. Anyways, let me put my sunblock on and stay tuned. All right, guys. So, I got guidance. Like, I thought I was supposed to go this way, but it's actually going to go this way from this store. I bought this here. And look here. Look here. I put the, the, sun, the sunblock on and I think I have white. My face turned a little bit wider because that that sunblock was uh, probably not the highest quality, but it's all good. As long as it does its job and I don't get burnt, because I don't want to be burnt, I'm happy. Good thing is, it looks like it's overcast. It's overcast. Bad thing is, that means, that might mean that it's rain, it might rain, so we'll see. Hey, <laughs> it might rain, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned, yeah. Huh. Buenas, por acá es el Tres Cruces, ¿sí? Sí. Subiendo acá. Ah, bueno, gracias. Ah, okay. Muchas gracias. Okay. Guys, check this out. It's so steep. It's muy inclinado, ¿sí o no? Sí. Oye. Bueno, gracias. I hope, I hope it doesn't rain. Because if it rains, these rocks get real slippery. And I might have to come down my butt. But let's go. If I would have came earlier, so I highly recommend you guys. If you're gonna come to Tres Cruces, come. People start climbing this thing like at five in the morning. So if you can get up at five in the morning or get out here at five in the morning, do it. Because one, there won't be that much sun. Two, there'll be a whole lot more people. And three, I don't know, it's a little bit safer when there's more people. When it's solo like this, when it's all alone, it can be kind of dangerous because Bandits, I said it, bandits, old-fashioned old term. Bandits who want to steal, rob from you. This is the best kind of situation for them to come here when it's alone and take your camera or your cell phone. But I'm gonna risk it for you guys. Como? Ah, ah, no, muchas gracias. Gracias. Uh, quizá cuando bajo, quizá cuando, cuando regreso. Gracias, señora. She's selling cookies. I'm telling you guys, Cali has so many cats. I've never seen so many cats in a city. Hey, boo boo. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Yes, good. <laughs> I've never seen so many cats in a city. Let me know in the comments why is there so many cats. 
Buenas. So, I've said this in other videos I've done so far in Cali. I'm really liking the people here. The people are so nice. I probably would move here just for the people. Buenas. I would probably just move here just for the people because people are so inviting and welcoming. Hola. Uh -huh. <laughs> vale. So you guys just wait till people pass and you go. On the Tres Cruces in Medellin, there's a whole lot more people at this time. 12 o'clock? No. Around 12 o'clock, it gets empty too. So the Tres Cruces in Medellin, same tip that I gave you. Come early. That guy, huh? I need to get to his level. Holy cow, he literally just ran past me. Ah. I kind of want to come back here and do it in the morning to see how, how busy it gets. But Colombians typically are very athletic, like not athletic, but they like to stay in shape and do outdoor activities. They love being outside. Look at the view. Cali's massive. Hmm. I notice people are respecting here because it says, La basura no vuelve sola, no la tires. And I'm noticing that there's not that much trash here. I mean, it's a little bit, but not like in other countries where they just throw trash everywhere. It's good. I like it. So far, so far, I think Tres Cruces in Medellin is a little bit harder because there's more. It's more incline the whole time, like a steady incline, uh, no, a, a, a steep incline the whole time. This is like flattening off right here. All right, stay tuned, guys. Guys, look like they're going to do trail running here, 2021. Very, who, let me know in the comments who does trail running. Usted va a entrar eso? Es esa competencia? Vamos, vamos. Yo no. Gracias. So, I used to run long distance back in high school, but not anymore. <laughs> All right, so looks, I'm not sure if I go this way or this way. Hmm. Eh, disculpa. La subida es acá, ¿sí o no? Okay, gracias. So, the, the, the going up is here with the stairs. So far, it looks easy, you guys. This is so far, it's nothing compared to Medellin. I'll let you know in 15 minutes how I feel. <laughs> so they just told me I'm about to arrive, but I literally haven't even broken a sweat. <laughs> let me know in the comments who's done this one and also who's done the Medellin one. But this is simple. Right here, it looks kind of sketchy. I don't like right here. See this? That looks real slippery, and then falling down that way. So I'm gonna put my camera up, just in case I need to crawl on my hands and feet. I am not too proud to not climb, uh, crawl on my hands and feet. So I would use my hands. So stay tuned. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I actually prefer this. It makes it a whole lot easier. I'm just basically stepping through and over the rocks real quick. It's not that hard at all. Because like I said, in Medellin, it's actually stairs. Like, chopped into the dirt so it's constantly constantly moving incline this now well, it might be the vbcn vbcn talking i do have an energy now we'll see <laughs> i made it up there it is she's having trouble <laughs> um, in medellin the tres cruces there's there's always guys working for tips with shovels and with picks to make like actual stairs nice and clean. They're, they're constantly working, you give them tips for their labor. Here, it looks like it's just more natural. There's mat nat natural stairs coming up. So let me do my thing and get up there as quick as I can. Stay tuned. All the walking I've done around Medellin, let's see it's paid off, yeah? I'm already sweating a little bit, but it's not hard. All right, guys. It might be a little bit longer, a little bit further than I expected, but it's not as inclined as I expected. 
Now the sunblock I bought is cheap and as I sweat, it's coming down my face and my mouth. Disgusting, but whatever, protection first, right? Stay tuned. All right guys, I was climbing over here, but it looks like I was supposed to be over here. That's where everybody's at, so let's go over there. But so far, so easy. So far, so easy. Now, there's our destination when you get to. Right there. Oh man, this is, this is nothing. It's 1224, 1225, 1225. Let's see how fast I can get there. I might stop to film, I don't know, but we'll see, stay tuned. Okay guys, I may be taking back what I said. Right now it's 1234, right there. And I just now turned the corner, got some Gatorade, and look what I saw. That's where it gets hard, climbing this steep mountain up here. So, let's go do it, right? Let's go do it, come on. Check out that house over here, guys, in the middle of the woods. So peaceful. And you don't have to worry about not bringing drinks because there's these stores here selling fruits, uh, bananas, um, Gatorade, water, that kind of stuff. So, here's an out of front. So, I didn't pack anything, I didn't bring nothing. And actually, I'm okay with that because I'm giving back. I'm buying stuff from them help out the, uh, the the economy here, I guess, in thrift cruises. <laughs> but, all right, let's go, let's do it. Hmm, there's two options, one here and one here. Which way do I go? Buenas. Eh, ¿cuál ruta? Por acá, y ese es bajando acá. Okay, muchas gracias. <laughs> so it's this way. So this way to the left is to come down, and this way to the right is go up. <laughs> Let's do it. I like that. One one benefit, one benefit that here versus Medellin, trees. Because the Tres Cruces in Medellin, there's hardly any trees. I mean, they're planting to try to grow trees, but every now and then a fire goes for whatever reason, some kids are burning some stuff up there and they burned down all the trees that they planted, things like that. But here, you're actually walking in a forest. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, definitely a plus uh, on Cali Tres Cruces. And also the other plus is, it doesn't seem that hard. What I saw earlier that looked like it was super hard, that's the coming down part. This one going up seems that it's not that high of an incline. So, not bad. All right, let's carry on, guys. Again, I take it back what I say. Check out here, I turn this way, and this is like, look at that incline. That's like, that's like that, going up. Let's do it. I'd like a challenge, especially on three hours of sleep and no breakfast. I mean, I had that arepa, huevo arepa, but, no solid breakfast. Okay. Let's get to the hard part. Come on. Let me know in the comments who would do this. Who would want to go on this hike. Definitely I definitely recommend come earlier. Because right now it's pretty solo. I passed a few people, but not many. Alright, so which way do I go? Hmm. This way? Or this way? I think this way is I see stairs over there. Okay, let's go back. The old, I just passed an older guy, probably like in his 60s or so, and he saw me looking over there and he said, don't look, don't look up, look down. If you look up, you'll never get there. Look down. <laughs> so I'm gonna look down. And I think what he meant was, if you look up, you'll see the challenge and you, you might not want to continue. But if you look down at your feet, step by step, you'll make it one step at a time. Holy moly, okay, here it is. Let's start the climb, guys. I kind of wish I would have had, I have a head strap for my GoPro or a chest strap. Kind of wish I had that here so I can put it on and you guys see the whole thing next time. Hmm, this is kind of complicated here. Let's see over here. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Gotta strategize my, my movements. 
All right, let's go up this way. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the steps. I'm seeing the footpaths. So for people who are not in shape, this is probably not recommended. You gotta have some level of, of fitness to get up here, I believe, or balance and agility, because it's pretty steep. All right, guys, let me, let me focus with my hands. I'll be right back. I take it back. I think this is a little bit more complicated than Tres Cruces uh, in Medellin. I don't see Nati coming up here and worse coming down because going down is always harder. All right, stay tuned. Let me keep going. I made it. I made it from up there. One tip that I learned from Bear Grylls, that dude, that man versus wild guy, he, when you're climbing, if it's a steep incline, always have three contacts on the wall or on the rocks. At least one hand and two feet or two hands and one foot but always have three points of contact while you're climbing for example if i only had two feet on and i took off both hands i might fall backwards if i only had well you could have two hands and no feet but you're hanging right <laughs> anyways i'm not an avid climber just something i remember uh, hearing from bear grills and i applied it and it worked so let's, ca let's carry on. I got more to go. Stay tuned. Wait. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, oh, this part's easy, not that hard. It was that one little spot that was kind of steep. But once you get to this point, well, again, I spoke too soon. Let's go. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have an extreme fear of heights. And on that part right there, it was steep enough where I was on all fours. And my imagination is strong enough, I have a strong enough imagination where I was imagining myself falling backwards as I was climbing. So I had a little panic attack, tiny bit, not a tiny panic attack, but I had to put the camera away at that moment. It was while I was talking to the camera a moment ago, I started imagining me fall backwards. And I put the camera away and I started moving because if you stand still, if I stand still and I let my imagination go, I'll freeze. I'll freeze and I won't be able to move. <laughs> so I got made it past that part. This man, this is steep. And I, people, I saw a guy just walk by walking down it. And I guess the average person who's not afraid of heights could do that, no problem. But me, if I'm when I'm walking down this thing, I'm gonna be thinking, oh, if I slip, I'll fall, break my leg, what's gonna happen? No hospital nearby, how's the ambulance gonna get to me? I'm thinking all these things in my head. It's all running through my head. And that makes me paralyzed. So, all right, anyways, let's continue. The music's following me for some reason. All right, stay tuned. I just made it past another sketchy spot. And I remember when I first climbed three dress cruises in Medellin, the first time, I was scared. I was nervous. I was, it was nerve wracking. But after I did it like, I don't know, five more times, well, I've done it many times after that, but like th the third or fifth time, I already was so accustomed to it that my fear went away. So I'm pretty sure doing this, if I lived here and I did it multiple times, my fear would uh, dissipate, go away. And uh, I wouldn't be freaking out a little bit, but all right, let's continue. Hey, for you guys back home thinking, oh, what a pansy, laughing, David's a pansy. I'm sorry guys, but I think everybody has some fear and my fear is heights, my fear is heights. and I. When I was a kid, I used to climb trees all the way to the top, but I had a really bad accident, a jet ski accident. And uh, they say, like, in psychology, if you have a, a trauma, a big trauma in your life, like a big accident, physical accident, uh, the fear can actually go to a different direction and make you afraid of something totally opposite, like totally, not opposite, but totally different than what, what happened to you. I was on the water, I had a jet ski accident that turned into a fear of heights. I have no idea, but that's what happened. Because before that accident, I was never afraid of heights. Anybody who's watching, who studied psychology or who's a psychologist, comment below, let me know if that's true. I remember learning that in psychology class in, in college. I remember thinking, wow, it makes total sense. Anyways, check out this view. It's beautiful. And there's rain over here. And I hope it's not coming this way because like I said, this is clay and when it rains, it gets super slippery. And what I just climbed 
will be nearly impossible to go down without slipping down and, and hurting yourself. Holy moly, I might be screwed. I hope this car is there and take me down. Stay tuned to see what happens. <laughs> oh my lord, have mercy. Huh, what do y'all think? Anyways, let me go quick before the rain comes. I'm seeing the end near. There's the, the crosses right there. 1252. And that's with me stopping and talking. So I think it's alright. Let me know in the comments if this has been a good time. Like if I'm making good time on this climb, even with my fear, slowing me down. Whew. I do feel it in my thighs and my calves. Again, I wish I would have came earlier. This place would have been packed with good looking people, fit people. But actually, now that I think about it, I was popping my neck. Now that I think about it, it's actually quite nice that I'm alone because what if I freak out because I can't go down, nobody's gonna see me, nobody's gonna laugh at me or think, think things. Think, oh man, what a pansy. I can freak out all by myself and take my time getting down. But the problem is, is that rain over there. If it's coming this way, I'm screwed. So let's get up to the crosses, see what's there, and I'm gonna head back down. I won't even have time to rest. But I'll tell you what, we're almost to the crosses. I would say this Tres Cruces compares to the one in Medellin. This one is a little bit more difficult based on climbing those hard parts, right? A little bit more tricky, but overall fitness ways, like being tired at the end, the one in Medellin is so much more uh, hard, so much more difficult. Because when I climb the one in Medellin, I go full, I go as fast as I can. But usually when I get to the top, <clears throat> whew, usually when I get to the top, I gotta take like at least an hour or two break before going down. Right now I'm almost at the top of this one and I don't feel that tired where I can't, I'm not gonna be able to go down right now. I could literally go up and then start my, my trek down with no problem. I'm breathing heavy because I'm, this is definitely inclined. Let's see what my, my heart rate is. 172, 172 heart rate, not bad. For people who wanna do cardio and burn some fat, do an incline climbing, even if you're moving slow, will burn fat. Check out these guys. <laughs> Profesionales, corriendo. Bacano. So, maybe I'll, I'll run down like them, who knows. All right guys, let's do it. Yeah, so doing cardio with the incline, get your heart rate going and you'll definitely burn calories. I remember when I was in Costa Rica, I was staying in the cloud mountains and going down the, I was staying in this Airbnb run by this hippie. He was like in his 50s or 60s, really cool guy. Very eccentric, a lot of stories that he told me. Maybe one day I'll, re I'll retell them to you guys. But he built an Airbnb, it was like a, it was like a spaceship. It was a cob house, but it was, I can't explain it. It was like, it was different for sure, but beautiful. But it was on top of the mountain. So doing the hikes, you had to start from his, place down the mountain and then when you come back up the mountain back, back to this place it was like it was literally like this and i remember when i went to go stay there i was climbing back up and moving super slow like a like a sloth super slow but my heart rate was i didn't have a watch at the time but it was skyrocketing i was breathing heavy sweat was pouring down me and it was literally me going super slow up the mountain beautiful so much fun maybe if i can find that who knows if he's still in business this was eight years ago when i went to his airbnb maybe i'll search out his airbnb listing and put it if i find it i'll put it in the description and the pinned comment 
If I don't find it, you won't see it. Buenas, todo bien? ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Buenas. Buenas. ¿Qué tú eres? Sí. ¿Cuál es la página? Life with David. La, la vida con David. La vida con David. Sí, ya. pero en inglés. Chévere, sí. chao. I got three more subscribers. Anyways, if I find that link, I'll put it in the description and the pinned comment. Check out the place. If it's not there anymore, sorry guys. Buenas, ¿todo bien? Hola, ¿qué tal, amigo? Bien, gracias. Okay. Ya estoy llegando, ¿sí o no? Sí, ya, ya. Hasta cinco minutos. Yes, eso. <laughs> chao, chao. I love it. I love it when they try to speak English. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. We're almost there. I'm now I'm breaking out and sweating. I kind of wish I didn't put that sunblock on because it's getting in my eyes. All right, let's do it. It's easy. Nothing's easy in this hike. There's the cross. One last steep climb. Let's do it. We're almost there. 12.59. 12.59. I don't remember what time I started with the watch, but... Let's get up there. All right, guys. We're almost there. One, zero, two. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Let's get up top. One, zero, three. One zero three. One. We did it, guys. One zero three and thirty-five seconds. We got it. Boy. <laughs> so we got up here. Exercise equipment. Got the bicycle. Pull up bars, nice. Hey, hey, está haciendo ejercicio, mucho ejercicio. Ah, oh, qué bueno. <laughs> and over here, looks like we have mass or misa. And Sunday mornings, it's for you guys who wake up early enough to come here. Ooh, they sit here for mass. Let's go check out the uh, the view. We got some Flintstone, Flintstone dumbbells. A little bit more organized than uh, Tres Cruces in, uh, in Medellin. Got the squat rack, nice, excellent. Barbell. What we got here? Whoa. Legs. Oh, it's heavy. That is heavy. Why oh, nice. not? Got the abs. Nice. All right, check out this view. Hola. Check out this view here. Ah. Beautiful. Oh. This stupid sunscreen is getting in my eyes. I can't see. All right. So I'll see y'all later. Let me know in the comments what y'all thought. If you enjoyed the hike. And see y'all in the next video, I guess. Unless I see something interesting, I'll turn the video on. And show you guys but otherwise i'll see you on the next video take care i'm gonna do a little workout maybe do some squats get it in in the rain who knows we'll see stay tuned i'll see you next video ciao ciao I saw this police officer come down the corner with his AK-47 out of nowhere. I'm like, face mask back on. <laughs> come, come with the AK-47, man. I'm gonna listen to you. Anyways, uh, what do, I guess for security, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's dangerous here. Let me know in the comments. This area can be dangerous or no? I don't know. All right, guys. So the rain's coming. I just spoke to them. They told me come down here. The way I came up is pretty inclined. So another way to go down is over here by the police station. They told me another way is called Monteveo, but Monteveo is considered a pretty dangerous neighborhood. 
not recommended to go down, so I'm not gonna go down. And that would be a road going down, so I'll be safer, safer for me not falling, but maybe me getting robbed, not as safe. So I'm gonna go down this uh, police station one and try to rush down as fast as I can before the rain comes. We'll see what happens. This is the going down that's a little bit easier. So let's do it this way. I know I ended the video before, but hopefully you guys stay tuned. Like I always say, my catchphrase, stay tuned. Stay tuned because I gave you a good tip on how to get down in a safer way. Because the other way was, was steep and me going down that way, I would have freaked out. So let's see how this way is. Let me know in the comments who actually stays on my video even though I try to end it like three or four times who stays to the actual end let me know and you know when it's the actual end when the the next videos pop up as recommended that's when you know it's the actual end all right so let me let me rush down because I see raindrops coming and uh, I don't want to get stuck out here in the rain so I'm gonna rush and see y'all in a bit our next video who knows be very careful with these rocks if you found this rock man that is not going to be fun. All right, so last tip before I end the video, if I do end the video. Learn Spanish. You want to come to Colombia? Learn Spanish. You want to learn Spanish? I recommend a school called Baselang. Uh, if you do baselang.com slash life with David, you get a discount. But check them out. I think they give like one week free or one week for a dollar or something like that. See if you like it. Join it. Learn Spanish because if you don't have Spanish, you really can't immerse yourself in this culture. And knowing Spanish, you really get to talk to people and ask questions and interact. And it makes life a lot better. All right, I got ways to go. Let's go. Check it out, guys. On the back end, coming down halfway, they actually put in these stairs. That's nice. Let me, that's nice. Again, I'm losing my voice. Sorry. Let me know in the comments who knows about this project. Are they going to put these stairs all the way up to the top? If so, that's awesome. That way, anybody can walk, come to Tres Cruces and get exercise in hmm very cool and this this shade is nice again I said in the beginning let's see how hot it will be here in, in Tres Cruces Cali everybody says Cali is super hot well guess what not at all I'm not hot feels good weather's good anyways see you on next video it's good Look guys, so I, I when I was coming up, she offered to sell me cookies. I told her I'll buy them when I come down. Hola, como estas? Buenas. I'm going to get some cookies to reward myself. ¿Y cómo se llama usted? María. María. ¿Y cuánto tiempo? ¿Cómo? María Polonia. Polonia, mucho gusto. ¿Y cuánto tiempo lleva lleva acá? No, yo vengo son de un amiguito ahí. Ah, ok. Bueno, ¿Y vendes mucho? A ratico, así. A, a ratico. Ah, más o menos, pues. Esta es la situación dura. Yo, sí, yo sé. Yo quiero los tres. Bueno. Y así está bien. Ah, bueno, gracias. Muchas Dios gracias. Bendiga. Los voy a comer con, con café en la mañana. ¿Dónde vive usted? Pues yo vivo en Medellín. Ah, pero en otro país. Pues yo vivo en Medellín, pero soy de Texas. Ah, de, de Estados Unidos. Ah, ya. Sí, pero ya llevo como cinco años acá. Bueno, Dios lo bendiga. Entonces, Igualmente. Que le vaya bien, ¿o yo? Igualmente. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Chao. Bueno, adiós. Bye, bye. Feliz viaje, pues. Exacto. Gracias. gracias. Chao, bye. Bueno, se What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So, I'm making another video, welcome. <laughs> so I just got done doing Los Tres, Las Tres Cruces here in Cali, Colombia, that's why I look like this. And I'm in a super fancy restaurant called Beefies, I believe. And if you saw my last video, I bought these cookies from an old lady on the street. So I'm in a super fancy restaurant in my workout clothes with these cookies. And the reason why is because here in Cali, I do not understand why it is so hard to find a menu of the day. Guys, I live, I live in Medellin for the past five years. There's always menus of the day, especially like in normal neighborhoods that's not Poblao, you know. Uh, you go outside of Poblao, you can find menus of the days everywhere, especially during lunchtime, right? I eat on the street. I always eat out. I don't cook. So I'm here in Cali and I'm walk, I've been walking around trying to find a menu of the day. I'm starving. Couldn't find nothing. So I came into this restaurant because it's my best choice. I got me a burger. I don't like eating burgers. I don't like eating pizza for lunch. I like eating real food like rice, beans, meat, salad, you know, uh, guarapo, lemonada. Like a menu of the day, basically. But I have no choice. I got me a burger. Super fancy burger. We're going to see how it is. When it comes, I'll show y'all. 
now do, do a taste test, I guess. So, but guys, tell me, please, people who are from Cali or been here, what's up with the many of the days? Where are they? Where can I find them? I'm, I guess I'm, a, I'm, I'm very pious. I need my, I need my rice. I need my, my chicken breast. You know. So, anyways, stay tuned. I'll show you the burger. All right, guys. There's the burger. It's actually massive, huh? So I think I think the cost of living here in Cali is cheaper than Medellin. But if you're eating out on the street and you always have to eat food like this, it costs twenty-five thousand pesos. It adds up. Anyways, let me set up and try this real quick. Stay tuned. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. There we are. I think I think y'all can see me. Let's check it out. So, got my Coke Zero. Oh yeah. Just made a mess. Alright, let's try burgers in Cali. This is massive. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. Hmm. One second. The meat doesn't look too good. It doesn't look good. It's perfectly shaped. And when it's perfectly shaped, it looks like a store bought frozen patty, right? But maybe they just shape it here perfectly. I have no idea. Let's just test it out. The the bread feels nice, it feels good. Oh yeah, this is not a frozen patty. I think what they do, they take prime cuts of meat and they grind it up and they make them burger patties. That's what it said on the menu, but this is actually delicious. It has mushrooms. Mm. It's really good. Tiene salsa roja. Sí, claro. Y mostanesa. No, solo eso. Roja. Gracias. Mm. Getting ketchup for the price. It's a fancy restaurant. Maybe they don't use ketchup for the price. I don't know. Fries are decent. Burger, legit, bomb. Perfectly shaped patties. Real juicy. Mmm. But again, I'd rather have this at night time and not for lunch. I miss my rice. <laughs> and I miss my my portion of meat, rice, beans, soup. I miss the soups. Because in Medellin they have uh, many of the days that comes with all kinds of soups like tortilla soup, which is like egg omelet soup, um, beans, uh, vegetable soups, all kinds of soups, and then the main plate, and then the, the dessert, and then the coffee. But whatever, I eat this burger and then go back home. Gracias. They even give the ketchup in a fancy, a fancy bowl. <laughs> Very good. Let me enjoy my, my hamburger. I'll come back to you in a bit. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm finishing it. That was a lot of burger. I got 300 grams. Man. That was a lot of burger. And I climbed the Tres Cruces, so I'm, I was hungry. Good though.